prospective medical students. So they should definitely be hardworking and clever, let's say. <laughs> um, but of course, they have to, I would say, love science as, as a start, yes? Because everything starts with the entrance examination test. And we will check the knowledge of all the applicants, how they are with their biology, uh, chemistry and physics knowledge from the high school. So definitely the students need to have um, a positive attitude towards the science subject. And of course, they need to be ready to work hard because the medical studies, they don't stop by graduating and getting your diploma after six or five years, because the whole career of a doctor is learning through the, I think, whole life when you want to keep up with the new trends in medicine, with the new technology. So you really need to be able to study hard. You need to manage your time effectively because you will need to find the balance between studying and the free time. And I think you need to be a personality that just wants to help the people because you will be um, helping them, like healing them. So you will see, you will, it's very a rewarding job at the end when you will see that you help the people, that you saved some lives. So I think you need to be really a people person as well. So our teaching methods uh, also include like problem, um, problem based learning method, which we use in the simulation center, where the students, they receive, I would say, such a script and all the students have different roles and there is always a problem to solve, a medical problem to solve. So this approach really helps them to prepare them for the career. So they will try to solve the problem the best they can using high-tech simulators. The teachers are watching over them, yes, and even the other classmates. And then afterwards, they discuss it, what went, what went fine, what they did correctly. But of course, if there is anything what can be improved or how, what other methods could be used. So I think this learning approach is helping the students the most for the future careers. And uh, of course, we have uh, different cooperations with other let's say, hospitals abroad, which the students can use for their pre-graduation practices as well. Or many of them, they go to their home country to experience their healthcare system. So this everything can be done during the studies at our faculty. Uh, we have a student organization called MIMSA. It's Masaryk International Medical Student Association, but we rather call it MIMSA. It's much shorter. And this is a group of are international medical students. They are mostly higher year students. That is, they are helping us with the orientation week, for example, before the semester starts. So it's for the first year students. They are preparing not just different events and let's say parties and games, but they also, for example, organize special sports events during the semester. Uh, each year they organize a skiing trip, which is very popular, uh, and especially in Czech Republic, because skiing is a very popular sport here, but also some volleyball tournaments, football. So if you are active in sports, you can definitely do some sports with them. But it's not only about sports and different events, but they have a separate education team dedicated to each year in general medicine and also in dentistry. And if the student needs some additional tutoring or additional materials to study from, they can always contact MIMSA. They will assign a tutor and they are there to help you. They are there to help the students to adapt to Brno because it's a new environment. So they are really helpful and we cooperate with them, our study department through the whole year. So we know them, so they are there to help you.
So our faculty offers many mobility programs that the students in the higher years can use to experience, let's say, the health system or the study system at different universities or hospitals. So specifically, our international students use this opportunity when they have their pre-graduation practices through their last year of the sixth year, which they can spend abroad. Many of them, especially within Europe, they decide to go to their home country and experience the health system there. Of course, even there is no language barrier for them. And we would recognize this practice once they come back. Um, we also have different cooperation with hospitals, for example, in Germany or UK, when each year we send uh, some students which can do the pre-graduation practices there. But we have other mobility programs. So if the students have um, want to study, let's say, abroad or they find some interesting traineeship, they can always come to our office and we will find some suitable program for them.